What is up and welcome to Total Body Sweat Sesh. This program is an anything goes program. So you never know what you're gonna get and every workout is completely different. The setup might be the same here and there, but the moves themselves are gonna be completely different. So what you can expect with this program. First off, if you don't wanna hear this part, feel free to go ahead and skip into the actual pro into the actual workout itself. I'm just gonna talk a little bit more about what you can expect from this program from here on out. In this program, like I said, it's an anything goes program, meaning no workout is going to be the exact same. Additionally, you do not need any equipment for this program. That's right, you're gonna get 35 minute or less workouts that are going to have absolutely no equipment needed, all body weight. Now, some durations may say longer than 35 minutes. If that's the case, that means that either the intro is a little bit longer, the outro is a little bit longer, or the cool down is a little bit longer. So feel free to adjust to what you need, all right? Now, I will always give you modifications, and if a move can be advanced, I will always tell you how to advance it. And don't worry, I will always talk through form. Sometimes I'm going to introduce a move really quick and then we hop into it. And sometimes I'm going to be able to break down the form before getting into the move. But regardless, whether it's before or actually during the move, you will always have form cueing to make sure that you are keeping the form that you need for that specific move and reducing the risk of injury and making sure that no muscle compensations happen so that you are getting the best workout you can possibly get. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into your very first workout with Total Body Sweat Sesh. What is up and welcome to Total Body Sweat Sesh. I am so happy you are here and this is workout number one. This is Total Body Tabata, all right? So before I talk more about that, let's go ahead, hop into that warm up, and I will let you know what you can expect for today's workout. All right, go ahead and join me right here for a straight arm jack. Now, if you need to modify, you're right here. It's like a traditional jumping jack. Instead, your arms are going straight up though, okay? Now, keep going for me. I'm gonna stop so that I can tell you about today's workout, but don't worry. I'll always let you know when to switch and what's coming up, okay? Today's workout, like I said, is total body Tabata, all right? So the form and the setup for today's workout. You have 10 moves, that's it. Just 10, all right? But, you have five moves that are 60 seconds long. Five moves that are a true Tabata, okay? This Tabata is 20 seconds on 10 seconds of an active rest. So instead of resting for 10 seconds, we're gonna do an active one, which means we're gonna hold the move that we just did in that Tabata at its most contracted state for 10 seconds. Then we repeat the Tabata, all right? Now, let's go into your next move. Three, two, one, get set up. You're gonna do hop, hop, knee. Hop, hop, knee, right here. You get squat low with a hop, hop, lateral two hops, bring up a knee, squat back down, lateral two hops, bring up a knee, keep going. Now, how the form goes. You have a 60 second move. Then you go straight into the Tabata. There is no breaks between these moves, by the way. Straight into the, the Tabata, we repeat the Tabata twice, then we move into the next 60 second move. We do that for all 10, then you get a good break, okay? But then we repeat it once more, then you're done. All right, so it's gonna fly by, it's gonna be quick, you're gonna crush it, you've got this, and tell yourself that you're strong enough and that you're gonna fight through to the very end, all right? Three, two, one, step it out for me. I want your toes to go forward. Now you're gonna do a side to side, it's a lateral lunge, but you're just doing it side to side to get a deep stretch in, okay? Act like you're getting karate chopped at your hips and you're going down, putting the weight into that heel. You're gonna load up and push up, to the other side, all right? Nice and easy, you're not down there long, you're just getting that good stretch in there. Make sure you're not squatting. Make sure that the leg that's on the opposite side that you're leaning towards, the knee stays completely straight and that foot stays completely flat. The weight's in this heel, make sure that your knee tracks in line with your toes as you come down, meaning it's not going in and it's not going out, all right? You're doing great. Now, like I said, a lot of these moves I'm going to give you some advancements for, okay? 
But I will also give you modifications. Every single move, if there's a way to modify it, which mostly there is, I will definitely show you how to do it. Now, with the timing of everything, I'm gonna be able to show you a couple moves before they actually come. And sometimes I'm just gonna have to show you the move and then tell you to jump in and join me, okay? So with that being said, note that I'm always gonna show the move full out. Then I will show any modifications. Then I will show any way to advance it if there's a way to advance it. Three, two, one. Give me some butt kickers right here, right here. Try and get your heel to your glutes. If that's too much, that's fine. Take it down a notch right here. All right, there we go. Stay in it, stay in it. You're doing great. Now, Tabatas go by really fast. A lot of the moves are in the most contracted state, then that can be a little bit sticky for some people, okay? But don't worry, okay? I will talk you through it. It's 10 seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds, okay? I will always show modification even for the holds in the most contracted states possible, okay? Three, two, one. Give me some shoulder rolls. There you go. We are going to work our arms, so I want to make sure that you're getting those shoulders worked out. All right. Get them warmed up. Now, if you have some wrist issues, we do have some planks and we do have some push-ups. So if after a while you start to feel like your wrists are giving you some issues, keep going for me. Go ahead and switch directions, though. You can either A, go down to a low forearm plank, or B, you can go from a fisted position, which means instead of having your hands like this, you're simply gonna go to a fist. Your thumbs will be inwards, okay? This is what a lot of people will go to first, and then if need be, go ahead and drop to your elbows, okay? I will try to remind you guys of that. All right, three, two, one, all right. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first two moves. So I'm gonna show you the first 60 second move, then I'm also gonna show you the first Tabata move, okay? That way you already know what those two are and we can move through them pretty quickly, okay? So the first move that we have is a pike press to a shoulder tap. You have four and four, okay? So let me show you what that looks like. Pike press. You're coming out just a couple of feet in front of your feet, all right? What you're doing here, elbows go back towards your feet as you Bend down into that pike press. It's as if you're trying to get the crown of your head to the ground. However, you do not have to touch the ground, okay? You will rock slightly on your toes. Then you're gonna walk out into that high plank and you're gonna do shoulder taps. Now you're doing four pike presses, four shoulder taps, and then you walk back in, okay? Are you ready? Come on down, come on down. Right here, three, two, one, pike press for me. One, two, three, four. Now you walk it out to that high plank. Tap, 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 tap. Walk it back in. Now modifications, I'm gonna show modifications. Bend your knee slightly and limit that range of motion, okay? Then when you're coming down into that high plank, come down to your knees right here. Core is in tight, glutes are tight. Don't have your butt up here. Keep it down here, all right? Tap, tap. Now make sure for that plank, your hands are underneath your shoulders. Make sure that your hips are rotated under. Your core is engaged. Your gaze is three to five inches in front of your hands, okay? They're not back at your feet. It's not back at your feet, all right? Make sure that again, your hands are underneath your shoulders. If you need to widen your base with your feet, okay? Now, I know I didn't get to show you the second move because we were running out of time. We had to go straight into this. You're gonna have three lateral hops, okay? One, two, three, into a squat jump, okay? You have 10 seconds. You have 10 seconds. Stay down there, all right? You're gonna have three lateral hops. You're gonna get low for me, okay? Three, two, one, come up with me. You go one, two, three on your third jump. Repeat, now modification. Watch me if you need to modify. Right here, right here. One, two, three, calf raise. All right, now, if you need to, two, one, hold the squat. 10 seconds right here. I'm gonna keep talking. Modification, if you need to, if you can do the three jumps normally, but the squat jump is a little hard, do the three normally. Go back into it right now, 20 seconds. If you need to, when it comes to the squat jump, calf raise then, all right? Do what works best for you. Make the modifications work for you, okay? Make sure that no matter what, 
you're low. You stay low. You're never standing up, all right? Stay low. Two, one, hold. 10 seconds. All right, now your next move is a plank knee combo, okay? You're gonna get on the ground, you're gonna get into high plank. I will talk to you through the rest, right? Come on down, high plank. Right here, you're gonna bring your knees to the opposite elbow, to the same elbow, and back, other side. There we go, there we go, right there. Now, I'm gonna talk through form. Actually, let me show you modification first before I do that. For modification, you are gonna be right here, right here. All right, I want you to just hold it. I want you to just hold it, that's all I want you to do. If that's too easy, you can plant your toes, or if your toes are already planted, you're just gonna lift up, down, up, down. Keeping your core engaged and your glutes tight. Now, hands are underneath shoulders. Gaze is three to five inches in front. Rotate your hips, keep them underneath, all right? We have a push-up coming up, all right? 10 seconds, you're almost there. Make sure your core is engaged, glutes are engaged, all right? I'm gonna show the push-up, I'll show modification, then I'm gonna talk through some form. Ready, three, two, one. Move your hands slightly outside of your shoulders. Here we go, push-up, right here. Modification from your knees. Now, make sure that as you're doing this, your elbows go down into an arrow, not into the side, okay? This puts your shoulder at risk. I want them right here, all right? Three, two, one, come low, come low. You're holding down low. I know that burns, I know that burns, but stay with me. Three, two, one, back into it, back into it. Additionally, for the push-up, your core is engaged. Rotate your hips, don't let your butt be up, don't let your hips be down. Your gaze is three to five inches in front of your hands. All right, not at your feet. Arrow back those elbows, not out into that T. Three, two, one, hold low for me. Rotate your hips. If you're modifying, you're here. If you're modifying, you're here. Three, two, one, come up. We have squat jacks. Come here, start now, right here. Stay low, stay low, stay low. On your toes, right here, modification right here but you stay low you stay low make sure that you're here the whole time all right right here stay with me stay with me you're doing so good now during our break i'm gonna go back and talk a little bit about that push-up because i want to make sure your form is going well with that okay i think that's so important you are over halfway done with this move all right now if you need to stay low tap it out tap it out your next move it's gonna be a V-sit in and out, okay? I'm just showing you right now. Keep going, I'll tell you when to come down. You're gonna put, place your hands in front of your knees, lean back, find that good V position, back is flat. Lift up, in and out, right here. All right, come on down. Three, two, one. There we go, there we go. Right here, right here. Now you're not going crazy fast. It's a nice tempo, okay? Modifications. All right, hands just behind. You still find that V-sit form. Hands just behind your glutes and you're right here, okay? Now, if you are a postpartum lady, three, two, one, hold here, hold here, hold here. Modification, you are here. If you are a DR lady, a postpartum lady who has diastasis recti, I don't want you doing this, okay? Three, two, one, get back into it. Ladies with DR, you're gonna be on the ground, all right? Either leg out or leg in, depending on your level. Press that thigh into your hand, hand into the thigh, keep low back on the ground and push. Okay, keep going for me. Hold, 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 hold. Your next move, next move, next move is a bare knee to shoulder tap. Let me show you. Three, two, one, come and join me. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Go ahead and lift up just a couple of inches above the ground. I know I said I was gonna show you guys this earlier. Tap, tap, knee, knee, but we're running out of time, so join me right now. Knee, knee, this is all you're doing. All right, 60 seconds, right here. This is it, okay? Now let me talk through some form. Make sure your back's not doing this. Make sure your back's not doing this, all right? Back is completely flat. I should be able to put a plate of food on it and it not roll off. Now make sure hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. They are not up here. 
They're not back here. You are over halfway done with this move. Modification, you're down on all fours. I want you to just do the knee in. That's it, okay? That's all I want you to do. Keep going for me. Keep going. You have a shoot through next. Base position is this bear, okay? You have 10 seconds, okay? I will show the shoot through, then join me. All you're doing is bringing in out to the side, bringing it in back to that bear. Join me, kick it out. Bring it in to the bear, out. Now modification, you're right here. All you're gonna do is you're gonna tap that foot through. All right, tap that foot through. That's all you're gonna do, all right? If you're not modifying, you're rotating. Our hold's gonna be that bear. Three, two, one, hold! Right here, right here. Your hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. Core is engaged. We go back to the shoot through. Three, two, one, go, shoot through. Shoot through. There you go. Remember, modification, you're staying in that bear, and all you're doing is tap, tap, tap. Okay, if that's too much, if that's too much, come down to all fours. Lift up, down, up, down, hold, hold. You can do it, it's 10 seconds. You can do it, you can do it. We have froggers coming up, okay? So I want you to watch me. Three, two, one, high plank, hop in, up. This is a frogger. You have four of these, then four mountain climbers. Join me, go, go, go. Four froggers. Hop back, four mountain climbers. Now, if you're modifying, if you're modifying, step, step, squat, place, step, step, in, in. Mountain climbers, you're gonna step them out, okay? So you're back here, right here. You have less than 30 seconds. Your last and final Tabata is a burpee, all right? No push-up. No push-up. I will show full out, then I will show modification. You have 10 seconds. Keep going. Keep going. Four and four. Burpees coming up, all right? Keep going. Three, two, one. Stop what you're doing. Join me. Jump. Down. Back to the plank. Up. Jump. Modification. Modification. Calf raise. Place. Step. Step. In. In. Our hold is gonna be a plank. Ready? Three, two, one. Plank, hold, hold, hold. Engage your core right now. Engage your core. Squeeze your glutes. Three, two, one. Back into that burpee, let's go, let's go. Stay with me, stay with me, you can do it. You can do it, you get a break after this. Stay in it, don't quit on me. Do not quit on me. You're stronger. You are stronger. Two, one, hold that plank. Hold that plank, high plank. Hands underneath your shoulders. Gauge your glutes, engage your core. Stay there, stay there. Relax. Round one is done, okay? Now, I want you to move around for me, all right? I want you to move around. I don't want you sitting still. I want you to be up. I want you to be moving. I don't want that blood to pool, okay? That's what happens when we've just worked, 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 worked. Muscles are warm. And then we just stand there and wait. We're not letting our body come down on its own, okay? So you're putting yourself at risk for injury when you jump back in and your blood is pooling as well, okay? Move around for me. If you need to, hands overhead. Deep breath into your nose, out your mouth, all right? We have one more time. That's it, everything. You already know what it is, okay? We have that pike press to shoulder tap, all right? Now, let me talk real quick on push-ups because I want to make sure I hit this one, all right? We're almost there. For push-ups, normally people go out to that T, right? Elbows actually go at an arrow. That is the proper form for a push-up. Your hands are just slightly outside of your shoulders, okay? We have that pike press to shoulder tap. Four and four. All right. That's the one we're starting with. Deep breath in. You have 10 seconds. Exhale. This is it. Then you guys are done. You've got this. Three, two, one. Walk it out. Give me four. 
There we go. There we go. Yes. Walk it out. Walk it out. Give me four. You can. You can. You're strong. You're able to walk it in. I want you to tell yourself that right now. If you feel like you're going to quit, if you feel like you can't do it, don't feed into that. Tell yourself right now that you can. Tell yourself that. You have less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds. Then we're going to that three lateral jump, squat jump, all right? Stay in it for me. Stay in it. Do not quit on me. Three, two, one. Here we go. Lateral, lateral, lateral. Jump. This is our Tabata. Your hold is going to be that squat. All right? Stay with me. You're strong enough. You're strong enough. Don't ever doubt yourself. Do not ever doubt yourself. I will be here day in and day out to remind you, hold, that you can. I'm here day in and day out to remind you that you can. Because I believe in you. Back into it. Go, go, go. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Guess what? You're almost done with this power, not this power move, but the move part of this Tabata. And you have the hold. Next move after that is the plank knee combo. Hands underneath your shoulders. Hold the squat. Hold the squat. Form for that plank. Hands underneath your shoulders. Right here. You're driving across. Same back. Modification. Either hold or pop up and down. All right? Come into it. Join me. Join me. I'm going to talk through form. Your gaze is three to five inches in front of your hands, all right? Not at your feet. I promise your feet are not running away from you, okay? Don't look at them. Make sure you are rotating your hips, all right? Even when you're modifying. I don't want to see this as you modify, okay? I don't want to see this, all right? Right here. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze in your core, all right? You have less than 30 seconds. It's as if somebody's coming in, and I hope nobody does this, but it's as if they're coming in to punch you, okay? Brace your core for that, all right? You're doing good. Our next move is that push-up. Remember, everything is tight. Glutes are tight, core's tight. You're going to that arrow, not the T, all right? You have 10 seconds. Then we go to that push-up. All right, this is the Tabata coming up, which means you have a hold. It's that low hold. Three, two, one. Join me, join me, join me. Arrow back with those elbows. Arrow back. Make sure your core is in tight. Get it in. Make sure your hips are rotated as if you're tucking them underneath of you, all right? Tucking them underneath you. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your glutes. If you need to, you're going from your knees, but you're still doing everything right with form. Three, two, one. Bring it down low. Bring it down low. Hold here. Hold here. It's 10 seconds. I know. I know. I know. Go, 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 go. Push back up. Now, if you noticed, I went to my knees before I pushed back up. That's because I know that after doing that, I need to make sure I watch my form because pushing back up from holding that low, sometimes our low back will, will start to arch because we're incorporating it to help us get up. I don't want you to do that. Hold low, hold low. Right now, as you're holding low, whether modified or not, rotate your hips underneath of you. Squeeze your core, squeeze your glutes. Keep going, three, two, one. Pop up, pop up right here, right here. Squat jack, stay low, stay low. Modification, right here, right here. You've got it, stay in it. This is a 60 second move. Stay in it. I promise you, you can do this, okay? I don't care what anybody has told you. Keep going, keep going. You're strong. Don't ever compare what you're doing right now to somebody else. You are not anybody else. You are yourself. So your progress, your journey, your work, your effort, it's yours. Don't try to keep up with me. Don't try to keep up with Sally Sue down the street. Do what you can. You got 10 seconds left. Then we go to that V in and out. Okay, remember, modification, hands behind your glutes. You've got this. You are doing so good. Two, one, come on down. Right here, right here. Now make sure that during this move that your back is not rounding like this. 
Keep everything flat and straight. All right, modification. Remember, you are placing your hands just behind your glutes, okay? Three, two, one, hold right here. If you're one of my postpartum ladies, remember, you're down here. You're either creating the opposition here or you're creating it here. Go, go, go. For my postpartum ladies, you're holding, all right? So that means you're not really getting that active rest. You're just doing the hold the whole time, all right? You're doing good. We have that bare knee to shoulder tap coming up next, okay? Three, two, one, hold, hold, hold. I'm gonna talk through that bear real quick. Make sure that you have your hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. You're only lifting up a couple of inches. Three, two, one, let's go. Tap, tap, knee, knee, tap, tap, knee, knee. This is a 60 second move. If you're modifying, remember all you're doing is bringing that knee in. You are not tapping your shoulders, all right? You're just bringing the knee in. Your back is completely flat. I should be able to put a plate of food on it and then not roll off. No rounding, no arching. Remember, your knees, no matter what, are underneath your hips. They are not back here, all right? They are not up here. They are right underneath your hips. Your gaze is three to five inches in front of your hands. You're doing good. We have less than 30 seconds. Then we have that shoot through. All right, I'm gonna talk through that shoot through real quick. This is where you're in that bare position. From here, you're going through to the other side, kicking that leg through, and then you're coming back to the bear. Modification, you keep that bear and you tap through. Ready? Join me, shoot throughs. This is a Tabata. Our hold is gonna be that bear, all right? Advance, you hop with it, all right? Keep going, modification. You're right here, you're right here. Stay in it, you're doing great. You are doing so good. Hold the bear, hold it, hold it. You can do it, it's 10 seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. I know you can, I know you can. Jump back into it, shoot throughs, let's go. Make sure your knees are underneath your hips, hands are underneath your shoulders. If you're getting tired, modify. If you start to notice your form is going, modify. Modify does not mean weakness. Do not ever think that, all right? You need to, five seconds, then hop back in. Hold that bear. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Guys, you're doing so good. You have two more moves after this. We're going into froggers. In three, two, one, froggers. Four, and then four mountain climbers. Join me. You know it, you know it. Now, modification, remember, you're breaking everything down. Okay, you're stepping back, you're stepping up, you're marching the mountain climbers out, okay? You guys are doing good. After this, you have one final move and it's that burpee. Now make sure that as you guys are going back into that plank from that hop, that you don't let your low back do this, all right? When we're doing moves to where we hop back into a plank, sometimes we forget to engage our core, all right? So our low back will arch as our hips go to the ground because our low back is gonna try and pull it back up, okay? You have 10 seconds, then we go to burpees. Then you are done, all right? Are you ready? Three, two, one, go, go, burpees. Last move, this is your Tabata. Stay in it. Do not quit on me. You've got this. You've got this. Breathe for me. Breathe for me. Three, two, one. Hold that high plank. Hold that high plank. You're right here. You're right here. Gaze is in front. Squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your core. Three, two, one. Go. Last time. Last time. You got it. I promise. Listen to me right now. Do not quit. Do not quit on yourself. Don't quit on yourself. Listen to what you're here for. What is your why? What are your goals? Stay in it. Three, two, one, hold low. Not hold low, hold the high plank, but get, get low in that plank, all right? Engage your core. You're just here for 10 seconds, you can do it. Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. For three, for two, for one. That's it. 
You did it. You did it. You completed this. All right. Tabata is not an easy workout style. I want you to know that. It goes by fast, but it's not necessarily easy. For some people, you may have thought this was the easiest thing in the world. That's okay. But you got it. You did it. You fought through. Keep moving for me. We're going to bring that heart rate down just a little bit, okay? Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. There you go. You're doing good. You're doing good. You guys did so good. All right. Big, big inhale for me right here. There we go. Exhale out. Give me one more. Now, after this one, I want you to hold all the way down as you exhale. Go ahead and exhale. Come all the way down. Hold here. You did so good. Okay, I know for some people starting a program can be scary. Maybe you've tried programs in the past and they just didn't work out and you know, that can get discouraging after a while. But I wanna tell you something, all right? Any workout program can work, okay? It can get you the results you want, but here's the thing. You have to be willing to put in the work. So I want you to tell yourself right now, I'm gonna give this my best that I can, okay? Now what I want you to do from here is you're just gonna step back just a little bit, okay? Lean into the hip that's back, keeping both legs straight, all right? This is gonna get you a stretch right in here. But any program can work. It's about the work that you put into it. So for the next 27 workouts that you have left, I want you to tell yourself that you're gonna give it the best that you got. Every day that's gonna look different. Go ahead and switch legs. Some days you're gonna be able to put in a lot of energy. Some days you're not. And I want you to know that's normal. That doesn't mean you're weird. It doesn't mean something's wrong with you. It doesn't mean that nothing's working. All right, additionally, keep your body some time. It takes four to six weeks for the body to adapt to things, okay? So that means it could take you four to six weeks to see results. All right. Three, two, one, step it in. <clears throat> additionally, know that your journey is just that, it's yours. It's not anybody else's. So yours is gonna look different. Your body is different than anybody else's, okay? I'm gonna count you up, and as I count you up, I want you to roll through your spine, okay? Come up for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna stretch out our quads. So what I want you to do from here, if you need a chair or a wall or something, go ahead and do that. I want you to grab just above your ankle, not your ankle, not your foot, not your shoelace, okay? When you do that, you actually pull on the ligaments and tendons in your ankle, and that can cause instability, which can lead to injury later, okay? Now make sure that your ribs are down. You're not doing this. All right, here you go. Three, two, one, go ahead and switch. <clears throat> but I want you to tell yourself right now that you did it, okay? I don't care if you have to modify, if you have to take breaks of your own, you're here and you finished, right? You pushed through. That's great. Some people can't say that, all right? But I want you to keep fighting every single day. Go ahead and relax. And on the days where you feel like you just can't do it, I want you right after this, go and write out your why. Okay, your why is much deeper than a goal, which is I wanna lose X amount of weight. I wanna be able to fit into this. It's much deeper than that, okay? Much, much deeper, all right? So I want you to make sure that you're doing that, okay? And then on those days when it feels like I can't do it or I'm too tired or whatever it may be, I want you to go and look at that. Place it in your bathroom, place it in your workout space and let that motivate you that, hey, some days it's going to be hard and you're not going to want to do it, okay? I have those days. But the thing is, how bad do you want your goals? Now, obviously, mental health is so, so important, okay? So if you really need a rest day, take one, okay? I don't want you to ever overwork yourself, okay? But when it comes to the working out, give me the best you have. It's going to look different every single day. But all I ask is I'm going to be here every single day to cheer you on, to remind you how strong you are, to remind you how worthy you are, to remind you that you were beautiful before you decided to start. You are beautiful now, and you will still be beautiful when you finish. All you're doing right now is choosing to work on your health and fitness, take care of that body, and know that you are strong, you are valued, and you are worthy of your goals. And I will be here, like I said, to remind you that every single day. 
day, okay? So with that being said, I'm going to stop talking your ear off, all right? And I hope that you had fun today. I, again, again, I don't care if you had to modify, if you had to take breaks, as long as you're here and you did it and you fought and you pushed through, okay? With that being said, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you right here for our next workout together. Have an awesome and wonderful day, everyone.